if you remember our workflow, we started with gain. And here we have our output gain and our limiter on where we've tried to match the volume of our mix track to our reference track. So I've just added a little bit of gain there, but I've also added a little bit of stereo width. So my next port of call in Ableton is EQ. So I'm going to start as I've already identified stereo width to be a bit of a priority. I'm going to use a mid and side EQ strategy. So with my mids, I wanted to add something in the for the kick drum. So this is something I really want to come through the mids, not on the sides. 80 hertz plus 1.5 gain at a Q of 1.2. So I, I did this to make that kick drum fatter. Let's have a listen to it on. So it's definitely sounding a little bit more hollow with it off. I'll take the EQ off again and I'll just take us to spectrum where I identified something that I wanted from this reference track. So I'll just play it here. Give me, bring me a cure, me. The sirens call me away. I give in, I give in. Something I liked in the reference track was this little dip here in that like 200 actually that's about 150 160 mark and here before it goes up again here it's about 222 okay basically I find these little dips um take that muddiness out of the bass sound so I'm gonna so I think I actually made mine a little too high I'm gonna turn it down there to about 212 and again just needed 1.43 That's actually creating quite a bit of difference between the bass and the keys. I'm quite liking that too. It's really made that bass line clearer. So I'm going to turn on my other EQs. So my fourth one was just one to deal with. There's a lot of, there's quite a few claps and hats in this track and Often they can be little, I just like to take a little bit out of around 2.8 just to, so they don't hurt my ears so much, so they don't be too papery. Um, so listen again with attention to that hats. And then we'll listen with the EQ off. So we're really pulling them in more, which is fantastic. That's what we want. So the other 
thing that I did for the sides because I already thought stereo width was something I had to work on a little bit. It was my little gain at 8.9 kilohertz, 1.5, a little bell gain there just to add a little bit more air. I like that to, because it gives you a little bit more closeness in the headphones on the vocal, makes it that vocal just sound so much more intimate. I love it. Let's listen to it all again. And then let's listen with it all off. Oh, this EQ is magical. Loving that vocal in the headphones. Fantastic. Yeah, so that's my mid-side EQ in Ableton.